he is a solid torus. So, which is the donut shaped solid. Now, given that the radius, the radius for this cross section, the circle here is 2r. And given here, this radius from here to here, it is 8r. We try to find the volume of this solid. This torus is obtained by rotating this circle about this y axis over here. So first, um, let's look at this cross section. It's a circle. So let's look at it from this way. So we settle this x axis this way, y axis this way. And the center of the circle is going to be from here to here. That's 8R. So x coordinate is 8R. Y coordinate is 0 because on the x axis. Equation for this circle is x minus 8R parentheses square plus y square equal to the radius for this circle here is 2r. Okay, so that's equal to parentheses 2r square. Now, when you rotate this circle about this y-axis, you obtain this torus. Now we can find the value for this torus by slice it up. So we're going to slice it up horizontally. So each slice over here, so this is one particular slice. It is a washer. So notice this washer, you can think about it as by um, taking this line segment over here. Think about it as a very thin rectangle and rotate that about this y-axis. Then you get a washer. For this line segment of this circle, this is on the right side of this half circle. This is on the left side of this half, half circle. Now, if we were trying to find the cross section area here, we need to know this x coordinate for this point and also x coordinate for this point over here. This is on the right side of this half circle. This is on the left side of the half circle. So given that this equation for the circle, we can solve for x and we see the right half of the circle is given by xr equal to 4r square minus y square and we take square root and then adding 8r. So that's 8r plus this. Now the left side of this circle is given by 8r minus this square root over here. See the plus one here corresponding to the right side here, the minus one here corresponds to the left side of this circle. Now we can use the washer method to find the value for this torus. So we integrate this cross section here as a washer. So it's pi times the outer radius square subtract the inner radius square. So the outer radius corresponding to xr, inner radius corresponding to xl. The thickness of each washer here, it is delta y, or you can put dy here. Y go from negative two small r to two small r. So negative 2r to 2r. Now, because the symmetry of this donut-shaped object, or think about this, you see this uh, symmetry of this upper element, and also this is an even function. So you can actually integrate this from 0 to 2r, which corresponds to the value of the upper half of the donut, and then you double that to get the whole value. xr here is equal to this, xl here is equal to this, now think about this as a plus b squared, and this is a minus b squared. When you combine them, you end up with 4ab. So this is going to turn out to be 4 times 8r times this square root. 4 times 8r is a constant multiple of this function. So we can bring it in front of this integral to multiply with 2 pi. So that will be 64 pi r times this integral here. So this is the answer to part a. Now part B, we can interpret this integral here as an area. This is an integral with respect to y, so we let x to be this. So we square both sides of this, we get x squared equal to this. Move the x squared and y squared together, we get x squared plus y squared equal to parentheses 2r squared, which is an equation of a circle centered at the origin with radius to be 2 small r. This x is equal to positive square root of 
4 r squared minus y squared. So that will correspond to the right half, the left half of this circle. So this highlighted half circle. So we're integrating this y here go from 0 to 2r. So y go from 0 to 2r. So that will correspond to the area of this quarter of this whole circle. So it's area of this quarter of this whole circle. Area of that is equal to one quarter pi times 2r squared, which is going to be pi r squared. So we're going to substitute this into this. We got the value for this whole torus is going to be 64 pi r, big r, times pi small r squared. Then when you simplify, that's equal to 64 pi squared r squared times big r. And that's the final answer here.